All right, guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is a Thursday, and that means that we are using Burning Abyss, of course. But, uh, well, no. What, what our hand is, we're clearly not using Burning Abyss. All right, so number generator. So bottomless, compulse, and book of moon. All right, all right, number generator. I see you. Let's go ahead and sense a back row, I guess. Well, there's no reason to set the Phoenix Wing Wing Blast. Anyway, uh, we're trying something different, so... That's why the title is All the Burning of Abyss, because, uh, you know, not including the Secrets of Eternity Burning Abyss, I try to, I change the deck, and I'm running all the Burning Abyss monsters. Yeah, that's fine. Fluffles. Fluffles. They're so fluffy! <laughs> Polly ended up, I see. Already? I hope your Polly's worth it, because that's the problem with fluffles and Polly's and stuff. You neg, you know? You know? Except for adults when they summon from the extra deck, and then they they get effects that resolve in the graveyard, so... You know, that's what makes them extra good, but fluffles, on the other hand... You know? Oh. And it doesn't matter now, does it? This card is something you can target a number of cards on the field up to the number of free materials. Uh, um. Oh, this card is. This card, when this card is used, something you can target. Them. Okay, I can destroy them. Okay, you're just gonna go straight up and quit. Like, I have a response that I was reading, but whatever. Alright, that was a terrible hand anyway, so bear back. Alright, people. So, like I was saying, uh, I, what the fuck? Okay, be back again. All right, like I said, I'm testing something. So uh, recently, there was a Burning Abyss deck that top that ran all, three copies of all the Burning Abyss monsters, and I pretty much wanted to see how powerful that deck is myself. So that's pretty much the plan is uh, to see uh, whether you know running three of uh, Lich and Calcab. Uh, helps out the deck immensely, you know, that's that's what I'm definitely wondering here because uh, you know my curiosity is it's 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 peaked. It's peaked. I'm, I'm interested So it's running the new black wings Interesting Hmm Do I have any way of handling that at this current in time? I got nothing to handle armor master if I would've went first, I could've bottomless him, but of course I didn't, so. Alright. I also got no fire lake, too. Uh, well. And, uh, you know. Oh, I can negate you. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Activate you, special summon you, normal summon you, detach, mill. Yep. Cool, figured it out. Thank you, Lich. So, that's one point for a Lich, at least. Like I said, I never really gave all these Burning Abyss monsters a chance, so let's go ahead and see how well they are. Yep. So, Lich, go ahead and negate you. And Dante will uh, destroy you, because your effects negated. Yep, that's how we get that done. Slap that fucking easy button. And that's how you take out uh, an armor master, so a lich, one point for a lich, definitely. Alright. Okay. Okay. So you're just gonna go for another armor master? No, he's going for the new guy. What does he do? Well, of course I'm gonna activate the effect. I'm just, I just want to see something. Ah. 
Yeah. Give me you back. I can spin some shit back. Alright. If you can target one low power higher wing when your opponent targets exactly this card in mm, Exactly. Alright, like I can't handle you. So, never mind, I was reading you, but never mind, you turned into Master of Blades, so... Guess I don't have to worry about you anymore now, do I? <laughs> Let's just go ahead and summon BLS. How's that sound? I think that sounds like a pretty chill idea. <laughs> You're not ready yet. I could have handled that situation without BLS, but let's go ahead and summon BLS and have some fun with it. Why don't we? Uh... No. Not the scarf in my hand. I know I have another scarf in my deck, don't I? Yeah, there, there you go. No. So I guess the idea of using, uh, the all the burning abyss is to jump off. Well, I mean, so so far, uh, not terrible. What does Sir do? No. Well, I mean, well, sure. I'll go ahead and do Sir. I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? So we'll summon you. Then you'll die. Then you'll get your effect. I shouldn't have done that. Because <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm fine. I'm gonna get BLS. I misplayed, but it's cool. It's better than, you know, negating him and then getting my shit smacked out of me. It doesn't matter because I negated him on my bad. Totally my mistake. I was like, oh, it's just when he's on uh, targeted by uh, field, right? It's like, no. It's just targeted, period. So he's gonna fuck me up anyway. And so I could have just put it down. Oh, that would have been main phase too, though. Still would have been able. Still would have been stronger than Master Blades and easily would have been able to handle the situation. Yeah, so pretty much I'm running three of each Burning Abyss. Because I saw that deck top and I was like, oh, interesting. Let me see how that works in the comparison. So apparently, Burn Abyss don't even run Mathematician anymore. Which is, I guess, understandable. Because he's kind of getting in the way. Alright, let's go ahead and get another duel in. Still testing. We're back. Alright, let's try this again. So no more Mathematician. And, uh, of course, I had to take out Crane Crane. Because no one likes Crane Crane. So he's out. Alright. Oh, you're doing that, huh? God, sometimes I just... Uh, well, Burning Abyss love to go first. Like, first with Twitter Burning Abyss always. Like, first, 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 first. Which they always like to go second. And Mermels like to go second, so it's interesting. But I think Cleese and Burning Abyss like to go first. So. And Teller Knights like to go first. That's kind of dumb. Doesn't even say if your opponent controls a monster and you don't. It's just straight up if you control no monsters. Like... Uh, I can rank up into a please if I want to. So what are you going to do? Tribute them all or XC and do that play? Nope, you're going to go ahead and XC. To him. Then you're going to summon a token that's 1,000 attack. Shocked. Oh, and search for some back row, too? That's uh, true, you didn't normal summon this turn, so... Shouldn't you have summoned that first, so this will be stronger? I don't know, maybe I'm incorrect. Yep, this is, this is exactly how this deck duels. I duel against this deck in a freaking uh, what was it, YCS Las Vegas? Exactly, just a crap ton of back row. Alright, so, let's see what I can do. Uh, hmm, well, there's no point in going into Virgil, because I'll just get hit. 
with that bottomless, but I don't have to get a hit with that bottomless eventually, right? Ah, <sighs> yeah, we'll go ahead and summon you. That's all you're good for. I said, if I would have went first, this duel would have been a lot different. Hmm. Interesting. So you're just gonna make it so I straight up can't play Yu-Gi-Oh at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got it. I can't play. Like I said, if I would have went first, that duel would have been a lot different. But clearly, my opponent just got everything. So we'll go ahead and get another duel. Be right back. All right. Like I said Burning Abyss like to go first, so that was not the most ideal situation at all. Now was it? All right, well, I clearly got to play. You're pretty much supposed to just summon the Burning Abyss monsters that you don't really want to use. Yeah. So I'm going to summon you, go ahead and make a Dante. I got a Fire Lake, so that's nice. So if I build a Burning Abyss monster that will summon, I'm already ready for Fire Lake, so I'm definitely going to mill three to optimize my chances of sending. Even though, you know, I'm not committing to anything right now. Damn it, I didn't mill anything. Nope, didn't mill shit. That's an inconvenience. But no, it's not. I can still do something. Uh, yeah. Give me Sir, because I have Phoenix Wind Wind Blast. So I can Phoenix Wind Wind Blast, Sir will bring me back Skarm, and then I can fire like you. So, I'm still okay. Pot. Blind Space. Is it a synchro deck? <sighs> Alright. Okay. Uh, mother, mother, don't they? You can just sit down with your whole Night Beam MST play. What do you think, your Cleese? It's very sad to see. I'm down on resources. <laughs> but of course, when the new support comes out for Boring and Base, this deck will be straight up stupid. Wow, that guy's sold too much. I don't win 24 7. I'm just using Burning and Base as an experiment. I'm just testing out the strength of this deck as, as the top of the meta. That's all this is. It's all Dirty Dan and this whole thing is. It's just, you know, I'm not planning on picking up Burning Abyss and playing it. So, you know, there's no need to be so upset. You know, if you didn't want to duel, you could have just straight up quit. And I can just go find another victim, I mean opponent. All right, we're going to get another duel in. Be right back. All right. I said, I'm playing the deck. Doesn't mean I like the deck. But I'm playing it. Simple as that. Hmm. You allowed me to go first, huh? Fine. I'll go first. Like I said, this might give me an idea of what I will predict will be hit on this deck. Hopefully. You know? It's hard to predict Konami doing anything because they do everything wrong. Well, not everything wrong. A lot of shit wrong. No. That was a terrible mill. That was terrible. Another scarm which I don't get. Tori got into freaking Regeki. That's terrible. That was a terrible mill. Hello? I would, I would, I would be better off not milling. In this case. I would just drew into another scarm. Eh. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to see like the importance of not running Mathematician. How good is how good is the deck without Mathematician? You know, does the deck run fine without it? Does it help? You know, good old shit like that. Yep.
Oh, interesting. No, I'll take my Dante. That's fine. Hmm. Interesting. So this number generator is interesting. I mean, I got BLS, so I can't say anything, I guess, huh? Nah, that's fine. I'm just seeing a big threat right now, so... Nah, that's cool. Oh, you're gonna revive my tour guide. Why? I don't know. Seems like right now all I'm seeing is unnecessary plays, but... Eh, maybe, maybe you see something that I don't. Well, this is probably one of the few decks in you guys that can't even run Snatch still, so I guess you can't really say anything about that then, huh? Ah. I also summon you. Mm. You know, maybe I was thinking about maybe hitting Fire and Lake just to lower the consistency, but now since it's so damn searchable, I mean, is that really the right choice? You know? It's a good question. Oh, there's Fire Lake. Sure. What does Calcab do again? Calcab, I could target one side and I'm gonna return to the hand. Well, there is none, except for my own, so... That's definitely not something I would like to do. I said, I can deal with my, uh, my own Dante when I'm good and ready. I said, that Dante is not really even a threat. It's literally just a booty, and I can get rid of that booty whenever I feel like it. So, that's not even a thing. Alright, so, Donard, how strong are you? You're in my face to you, and blah blah blah, against 200 attack for 860 material attached to it, so it would have 2, so it would only be 25, so. Nope, oh, that's not strong enough. So that's not strong enough to handle the situation. I can handle the situation whenever I'm good and ready, but that wouldn't handle it. So if you want to snatch still my Dante, have it. That's not even what I'm worried about. You can't even mill anymore, so. Oh, that's cute. Thank you for my Dante effect, though. I'm gonna give me a Fire Lake back. Yep. <laughs> what, you didn't think I was going to get my Dante effect? Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to grab that fire light. Like, thanks. 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 My Dante was the only thing. My monster was the only thing protecting you from me. And then you're going to go ahead and tribute it? Oh, that's fine. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. I'm going to get one more dueling. All right, guys. Be right back. All right, we're back. Sitting here thinking and contemplating on the, the two. You know? Well, this hand is interesting, so... One, one, one. Like I said, this is definitely a number generator. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. It's interesting. <laughs> How foolish after I mill. Just in case I mill. Just in case I mill what I want to uh, send with foolish. And I th think I didn't, so. Oh, well, and if it's your first time against Burning Abyss, you're in for a treat, because this deck is super fucking powerful. So, nope, didn't know what I wanted to, so. Because I didn't, I'll go ahead and just drop. It's fine. Well, I'm pretty much set up. So I got my two Burning Abyss monsters, I'm gonna get a Tour Guide, you kill my Dante, I get the Fire Lake back. You know, 
I mean, I can already do the fire leg play fairly consistently and consistently with you know triple tour guide and triple uh, fire leg, but it's just gonna get even worse with the new support. You know, that freaking uh, ritual spell being able to search for fire leg, the freaking monster that's able to send a freaking uh, uh, burning abyss spell or trap card from your deck to the graveyard, so you can send that and search. You, you know, you can send freaking. Uh, Hmm. There's no point in doing that because you could simply just run over my sir. Are you afraid of being destroyed? Like, destruction isn't even like that. So you change my battle position? So you neg one to change my battle position? Ah. Uh. Isn't this redundant to equip both of these? Honestly, I'm not going to tell you how to play your deck, but... Mother, mother, then eh? Sure. Mm-hmm. Give me fire like Wonder if you can like play something in between. Yes you can. Wow that's dirty. So you can just literally throw vanities right in frickin' the middle of the tag out. That's dirty. I didn't know you could do that. I thought the tag out had to resolve. I didn't think the tag out started a chain. Interesting, interesting. I learned a lot from this I'm learning about Burning Abyss and about this game mechanic of Yu-Gi-Oh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll take this door slow. I drew Compulse. So, if you want to go ahead and summon a I'm glad to run my sir over, get rid of the vanity this vanity these and tag out. I mean more power to you. That's what you want to do. Yep, there's another Arius. No, that's okay. So what does it say? Thinking about maybe stopping you. Because I know you're going to equip the other one, which is kind of redundant. No, you're just going to equip one. Is it okay to let you do that? This card's kind of getting on my nerves. I might just compulse you. Yeah, I'm just going to compulse you. Which will, of course, get rid of my vanities, which is totally fine. You got this? No, I don't... I was going to get rid of my vanities anyway. But I want to get... You off the field, because A, I don't want you to tag out into something different. God, what's up with this number generator? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Someone Dante. Why did I put you in defense mode? I could have pushed for an attack. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, I like to stay up. You know, because that might be a freaking war chariot face down. So it's good to A, not allow him to tag out, and B, go ahead and compulse him so he's not in the field for a war chariot. So I need to touch you. So, Calcab, this is your chance. No, Calcab. Alright. Actually, that was a terrible mill. I'll give you that, though. I know two of the cards in his hand right now. But I'm already set up with Fire Lake, so... I think I might be able to just dip him in a pool of... I messed up. I misclicked. Yep, I misclicked. I thought he was going to ask me for Fire Lake, so that's why I clicked no, but I forgot Scarm also was going off at the time, so... I tried to unclick it, but it didn't let me. No, I was going to win anyway. 
So, because anything you would have done, I was going to fire like you anyway, so it didn't even matter. Alright, so it looks like it's working, so let me get my opinions. A lich, a lich is useful, I can see that. I'm just, I was sitting there contemplating about, you know, what monster effects would you want to negate during your turn, you know? Uh, so you have to get in a sense of thinking of it as, as breakthrough skill in your graveyard during your turn. So what, 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 what would you want to hit with uh, breakthrough skill in your graveyard during your turn? Well, uh, the first thing I was thinking of is, of, of course, uh, 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 window, window, so find a way to go ahead and get that negate window, go ahead and go with your play, easily make a Dante, run it over, so, you know, you could do that, but then they would just get the fusion back, so that may not be the best choice, uh, you know, but it, you can do it, um, then I was thinking, uh, uh, maybe, uh, you know, maybe a mirror match, maybe they rank up into a Pleiades, you can negate the Pleiades, you know, you can do that, uh, Dark Law, but, you know, Dark Law, it's going to be kind of difficult for you to get the monster in the graveyard when Dark Law is banishing you, so I guess that doesn't count. You know, I, I can see it, but, you know, in the current meta, I'm kind of, like, skeptical. I'm just kind of like, I don't, I don't, I don't get, I don't get, you know, you know, when the Lich is really doing this uh, format, you know. You know, why negate a monster's effect, you know, until the end phase when I can just remove it from the field, you know. Except for that sense against the Blackwing guy, because that sense, but no, Blackwing's not even meta. Like, even with their new support, you still can't compare to the strength of Burning Mist. So, that's not even a factor. But, uh, you know, why, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, you could just simply just banish it, you know, banish it to the end phase. So, you know, this might maybe, uh, uh, Farfoot might be a little bit better. Um, and Cow Cab, I didn't get to use him once, but he really didn't go, I mean, in this sense, I could have bounced this card and returned it to his hand, but, you know, he could have simply just reset it, so, you know, I'm not really sure how I feel about that, plus back row is not really what Burning Abyss are afraid of, you know, unless it's Vanities, but, of course, Farfa says I have to target a set, so if I, you know, activate the effect and I target a set, they can simply just, you know, chain it. It doesn't say, you know, my opponent can't activate the card in response, so they can simply just go, all right, you targeted my Vanity's face down, chain it. Now it's face up, now it doesn't return my hand, and now you got vanity you know? So, you know, that's not really doing much, so, you know, I, I, I get it. I get it, you know, they help you go off first. You, they, they, they give you the Dante, I'll do that. You go first, of course you don't got any back row, so you're probably going to go ahead and special summon one of them because you don't care about their effects because they're not as good as the other one. So you can special summon them and then normal summon the other Burning Abyss monsters that you actually give a shit about their effects like, you know, Skarm and, you know, Sir and Graf. And then exceed into a Dante, detach the Sir and Graf, you know, go ahead and, and, you know, mill and, you know, it helps you get out Dante. I'll give you that, but, you know, I can pro uh, you know, I... I I can see not running Mathematician. I can see that because Mathematician is literally kind of like a hindrance because if they don't kill him, he kind of sits on the field. So I get that. So I get, you know, replacing Mathematician with a different Burning Best. I understand that. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm the only one in this boat, but I kind of like Crane Crane. You know, you know you're going all through these lengths and jumping through all these soups to make a Dante really easy while Crane Crane... Crane Crane just uh, is easily a one-card Dante as Tour Guide is, you know. The one's from the deck, the one's from the graveyard, you know. So you could literally just go, you know, summon Crane Crane, summon, effect negate, XC, Dante, detach, you know, go ahead and, uh, you know, whatever that burning mill, whatever, whatever that burning this monster is, you know, you can literally go, all right, summon Crane 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 Crane, bring back, uh, uh, you know, Graffer Sir, XC, Dante, detach, mill, so Graffer Sir would still go off because their effects haven't been used this turn, summon, set a fire lake, you know, so just like you go one card, uh, you know, tour guide fire lake combo, you could just as easily do it, Crane Crane. But I guess, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one in this boat who likes Crane Crane. I, I just don't understand. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So, like I said, uh, by the time you're watching this or somewhere around the day that you're watching this, I'm actually on my date with a high school girl. So, of course, I will be talking about that uh, tomorrow on uh, Daily Duel. So, look forward to that using Shadals. Uh, trying something out new with them. So, I'll probably explain that. But, uh, like I said, this is all just a test. This is all just a test, you know. Don't think that, oh, Daniel, on, you know, on his channel, he plays Cleese and Burning Abyss and he should all, he's, he's such a meta man, like, no, absolutely not, you know, I'm just testing the strength of the meta, you know, seeing, you know, seeing, you know, what works, what doesn't work, finding any kinks in the armor, you know, uh, you know, what you can side against them, how you shut them down easily, and, you know, uh, you know, by using the deck and getting a grasp and understanding of what cards are powerful in deck, what cards aren't as powerful in deck, it gives me a, an easy, uh, prediction to figure out, uh, 
you know, what to uh, predict hitting on, you know, the, my upcoming balance prediction. So overall, just a fine experience. And, you know, some people actually like seeing meta. So there you go. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Daily Duels. Get out of here, really? <laughs> I hate that thing. It always pops up at random times. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow talking about my date with high school girl. And I it will be using uh, Shadals. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.